About 8 o'clock this morning when Gene Palmer walked out of those doors just behind me. He's a free man today after serving four months in the jail for his role in the escape from Dannemora last year. He didn't have too much to say as he got into his car, but he did say that while he didn't want to officially comment, this was not an appropriate time for him to speak out. Gene Palmer clutched his belongings as he walked out of the Clinton County Jail. Mr. Palmer, how are you feeling this morning? When asked if he wished to comment. No comment at this time, but thank you for the opportunity to speak. He declined. A red van met the former CEO outside after he served four months of a six-month sentence. In court, he admitted that he, in part, contributed to the escape of two inmates. Guilty. The former corrections officer's guilty plea sent him to jail. He received a six-month sentence as part of a deal with the state for his role in the escape from Dannemora. On June 6, 2015, Richard Matt and David Sweat broke out of Clinton Correctional. Officials say Palmer passed hacksaw blades hidden in hamburger meat to Matt and Sweat, essential to cutting their way to freedom. The late February plea deal meant that there would be no trial. Palmer's attorney spoke to us from his sentencing. It would have been a very difficult trial, so we're happy that it finally is over, and we're happy that we were able to come to an agreement on most everything. The judge sentenced Palmer to six months at Clinton County Jail. He's getting out early for good behavior. The 57-year-old pleaded guilty to one felony charge of promoting prison contraband and two misdemeanors, one for official misconduct, the other for promoting prison contraband. Outside the jail, officials say they hope his release is another step forward towards closure and moving on past the events that paralyzed the region.